There is a new AI glasses company that is on the radar. They have just uh, released a smart gla- AI smart glasses that listen and record every conversation, which may or may not be a privacy concern. Who knows? We'll talk about that in this episode. But before we do, Jaden, why don't you tell them about our school community? So every single week, Jamie and I record an exclusive piece of content that we post on our school community. It's currently $19 a month for this week only. Next week, we're raising the price. And actually for the next four weeks, we're going to raise the price every single week. Um, so if you're interested in getting it at a discounted rate, I would. this is the last week that it will be $19. Next week, it will be 20 then 21 then 22 then 23 it's going gonna, it's gonna to go up. So if you're interested, get it now. Um, this is a great a, a great time to get in and you'll basically get locked into that price. So it won't raise on you. And we have over 300 members and every week we release a video. This week, Jamie and I did a video um, where Jamie outlined everything that he has done with Lovable. He's creating a new project. So he basically showed uh, what he was able to do and his tips for getting started. If you're interested in getting into vibe coding to build websites or applications. Um, this is really the future of AI, I think, for a lot of businesses. So I think this is a, a really good episode. You're you're definitely going to want to uh, catch. Um, so there's a link in the description to the, the school community. But okay, let's get into what's going on with this um, new company. And I will say that the funny thing about this is there was actually recently, uh, so basically, right, these smart glasses, they're always on, they record everything, they listen to everything, and they have a uh, persistent memory of everything that you hear and see around you. And they are augmented reality. So on the lens of the glasses, they will project things to give you information. And kind of their demo, they have this like, uh, you're looking at a mountain in Japan and it says, you know, this is Fujiso Shido Honko Street, frames Mount Fuji perfectly, blending everyday life with Japan's most iconic views. It's 1217 and it's 21 degrees Celsius outside. So you can kind of get like all of that information right on your glasses in front of you. You don't have to pull your, your phone out um, for kind of quick stats or interesting things. We're seeing something very similar Google announced, but Google hasn't released them yet. They're just kind of like in, in beta and, and demoing and they're like working on them. Uh, we know Meta is probably working on something very similar to this as well. They have their Meta Ray-Bans, which right now is just kind of like a little speaker with Meta AI by your ear that you can like look through in a little camera. But um, all of these tools, I think I think these smart glasses is going to be really, really popular. Um I, I think it's funny where they got this idea from, but before we get into that, I guess, Jamie, what's your take on these glasses? Is this something that you would, uh, you'd actually wear? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could see, you know, honestly, the demo they showed with the, the temperature and the, the time and then like a description didn't really seem that enticing to me. I don't really need that shiny on my face necessarily, uh-huh. but um, I, I guess in certain situations, like maybe the, a translation scenario, it might be helpful, but um, you know, not too, not too enticing to me. Um, to be honest, I think the Ray-Bans are pretty sweet. I, I, I had never seen them in person, uh, but I had a conversation with a guy who had them uh, last week and he was telling me how he uses them for everything. And he, um, he's like a content creator and he also has an ice cream shop. So he like, for his point of view stuff, he's like scooping ice cream and stuff. And, um, they look really cool. And, um, you know, he, he was telling me though, with the video recording, if you're recording a video, it blinks, and he showed me a flashing light kind of to let the person, if there's someone you're talking to know, let them know that you're recording, which is distracting, first of all, for the, for sure. me, because it was like a light flashing in my eyes, but then also get me, it puts you on edge a little bit. So yeah. I, I guess, you know, in this scenario where it's like, it's always recording, uh, you maybe could be more discreet, but then at the same time, is there privacy or security concerns with that? I don't know. Um, I'm a little skeptical though. Yeah, I, I get I get the skepticism and it's kind of tricky too because like you can imagine if you had like, I don't know, like a, a lot of people that do extreme sports, they'll have like a GoPro strapped to their chest or something. And I think this kind of is like some version of a replacement, right? If you're mountain biking, you can wear these glasses and then you're about to do a cool jump. You're like, hey, meta record this, take the jump. And it's like, cool, you got the video. So in that sense, I think like for content creators and people, this could be quite useful. Um, but again, and so, the, and then, yeah, there's the whole security or the, you know, the whole element with the, the camera, what the meta Ray-Bans don't do right now, though, is the augmented reality that projects onto your lens. And so I think that's something cool. I, I've seen Google's working on that and, and they're, um, you know, they're probably working on something like that at meta as well. But, um, this is what's interesting is basically there was a company that came out a while ago called Cluey and they, they their, their tagline was the cheat on everything app. It basically is like, a uh, an app where like there's a sidebar on your computer. So if you're doing like a job interview or something, it listens with AI and it tells you what to say on the side for, I don't know, tests or interviews or like anything. And of course it's, it's kind of tongue in cheek, the cheat on everything app, because really 
there's also there's all sorts of useful use cases maybe you're a salesperson talking to a prospect and it's bringing up like important stats and things to like mention in the call on the side so like you know in the real world it could be quite useful not just cheating on tests which is kind of like the or like they they basically made this really viral video where the person was wearing a pair of glasses that look exactly like this this new product from these harvard people um and in the in the video that Cluey did, he's wearing glasses on a date and it's like telling him all the things to say and then it goes terribly wrong. The girl dumps him anyways, which so it's like kind of funny. But um, people criticize it because they're like, that's not even your product. Like your product is like a it's like a sidebar on a computer, not like augmented reality. So it's funny that these people are literally saw that there was kind of this pushback and that people maybe wanted a product like that. And now they're they're building it basically, but they're competing with Google. So it's going to be an inter- interesting, uh, an interesting air- arena for sure, I think. Yeah, I mean. I th- I think it's cool. I mean, again, the guy I talked to, he had two pairs. So he had one in his bed in his case charging while he had his other ones on. So he was like all about them. Um, really? he was showing wow. he was showing me like footage he had recorded and and Is it uh, good quality? Yeah. I mean I mean on a phone at least. It was it was great quality. Um, you know, if you put it on TV, I'm sure it's not not quite as good, but um right. and he was saying like some people with the the flashing on the recording, they like break the light <laughs> so, and okay. then and then like cover it up so that it, you know, won't blink. So people don't know the recording, but I don't know. I, I think it's cool. I do think on the Ray-Bans, they could probably put a, a heads up display like of some kind, but then I feel like you would see that and it wouldn't be as discreet. I think one time we covered there, there was a company who was trying to shoot the laser like into your eye. Do you remember that one? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Which I don't think it? I like that either. <laughs> That sounds terrifying to me. Um, but yeah, that's, I think, how they kind of project on the augmented reality stuff. So there is some there is some very crazy things happening. One thing I will say, they've raised about a million dollars to do this. Um, and the glasses are going to be about $250, which honestly is um, a pretty good price point. Now, they are competing with Meta, and I'm on the Ray-Bans website right now. If you want their Oakley glasses, it is um, fine. But they have a whole bunch of different pairs. Their Ray Bans are three seventy nine. They have some limited edition Oakleys for like four hundred bucks. Um, but they they do have one Ray Ban for two ninety nine, or a couple Ray Bans for two ninety nine. So basically, I think the cheapest Meta is selling them is three hundred dollars. They're about fifty dollars less. So maybe people that just want to save fifty bucks would use this over Meta's Ray Bans. But it's kind of hard to compete with Meta, an entire AI company, um, and uh, you know Ray Ban, a legit glasses company. So they do have competition there. But again, projecting onto the lens perhaps is useful enough that some people would uh, would would use it. One thing I'll say about this is the people that are starting this—they're two Harvard dropouts. Um, they are in San Francisco right now working on this, and. Um, yeah, there's there's been a lot of controversy around the tool, but overall, I think it's interesting. It's specifically, they were kind of asked about like Meta and like, is this going to be competition for you? They said Meta doesn't have a great reputation for caring about user privacy and for them to release something that's always there with you, which obviously brings a ton of utility. It's just a huge reputational risk for them that they probably won't take before a startup does it at scale first. This is interesting. So they're basically saying Meta wouldn't by default have their glasses on and recording all the time, which is what they do. Um, and so they, they, they basically they're, they're like, no, we're going to beat meta because we're always recording everything around you. So that is also another interesting thing, which I don't know about you, Jamie, but like, would you have glasses that are always recording everything? I don't think so. I don't think I'd want that, but it's maybe someone would, I think the other thing is here. I don't, the one thing I don't know how they're going to pull it off is the battery life, because that's the one complaint about the, the Ray-Bans is the battery life yeah. is especially recording is very bad. Uh, so yeah. I don't know where they would hide a battery that would enable to power it all day, unless it's just visual. If there's no audio, then and it's like a pretty simple like green light, then may- then maybe. But um, yeah, the battery life I could see being a, a big problem. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So one other thing that's interesting about how they actually do this is so they record the audio twenty four seven basically. Um, but then they they basically take the audio, they transcribe it, and they put it into a text document, and then they delete the audio files. So they're not saving the audio files, which I know some people would be happy about, um, but still feels kind of creepy to have something listening to you 24-7. And it's like, maybe it's useful for you because, I don't know, like you can look at your notes of your life or ask it questions about everything. So like, maybe that is useful. Honestly, I can imagine like a hundred different uh, arguments with my wife where, you know, we were like, this happened. And she's like, no, this happened. And then we're like trying to figure out what actually happened. You know, like those types of arguments. This would be a great, a great thing to be like, what did I specifically say 
you know, four months ago about XYZ topic, maybe that would be useful. I don't know. If you're a very forgetful person, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. But yeah, it does say on the article, there's no camera. So that, that might help them out with their battery life thing, but yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Lack of the camera. Super, super interesting. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. We appreciate all of you listening. Uh, if you learned anything new, if you're interested in these glasses, if you're, if you'd get some, let us know. We would love to, uh, we'd love to hear from you on this and, uh, make sure to go check out the AI hustle school community next week. The price is going up to $20 a month. It's currently 19 and every week it's going up a dollar. So if you want to lock in this price, this will be the lowest you find it. Uh, make sure to go over this week to the AI Hustle School community. Join. We would love to have you as a member and we'll catch you in the next episode.